Hey peeps, Galusier here, and today I am once again bringing you some industrial crap. Uh, this time around though, I'm not setting myself specific goals. I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of what's going on. But the gist of it is, a lot of different times, this is my house, a lot of different times I've done industrial craft and I've been like, oh yeah, I'm going to do industrial craft and we're going to get and, and set goals. Like, I'm going to make a full set of quantum suit armor or whatever. And then something happens and I'm not able to finish the series. And I don't want to let you guys down. The gist of it is that, uh, like usual, I'm recording in my truck out on the road and I've got limited internet or sometimes no internet out on the road. Like, if there's bad cell service, I don't have any internet. So, days like that, I end up playing single player. So, what I did was I just installed Industrial Craft on Minecraft. It's, it's not a mod pack or anything like that. It's just Industrial Craft by itself with nothing else. And I wanted to start messing around with it. And I'm just going to kind of bring you some Industrial Craft gameplay from time to time when I'm unable to do the multiplayer stuff and I'm stuck doing single player. So I'll set you up a little bit. This is Industrial Craft 2 Experimental. It's the most recent build that was uh, stable and recommended. So there's been a lot of changes since I last started playing Industrial Craft. Um, and so I'm going to kind of point out a few of those and talk a little bit about what I've been up to here. And I'm just basically catching you up to everything for the first episode that I do. And then any industrial craft to follow will be more like a let's play where it's just me having fun and going through it. So uh, I, I went with a tree house, obviously. And the reason for that, besides the fact that I spawned in a jungle and it's a huge jungle, is that it dawned on me that wind power is like one of the best power sources in industrial craft. And the higher it is, the better it is within reason. You don't want it too tall because then uh, the, <laughs> the they can explode during a thunderstorm. But... You want it to be pretty high up there because it's going to get more power that way. So I was like, well, if I make my house really high, then the cables and whatnot don't have to be nearly as long. And uh, that seems like it would be a pretty efficient way to power a building. So that's my goal. But I don't have them yet, as you can see. Well, not really because I'm not outside. But if you look at the thumbnail, you can see because it's just a picture of this and there's no, no wind turbines. But, yeah, so I'm way up here. And uh, that's my mine down there. It's where I've been doing my digging. And I've got an endless water source for no reason. And I've got this random plank because it's my fast way to get out of the tree. I made like a pool down there for me to jump into. I don't have a quick way up yet. But I'm going to work on that. So I went with, uh, obviously, I left the, the leaves here. But I added a bunch of logs to keep it natural looking for the floor. But to give me more space than what the tree originally provided. And then I just went with the jungle planks around it. Uh, so far, all I've got is a regular generator and the bat box, and then I've got the macerator and the extractor, and that's all I've gotten so far. But it is vastly different. First of all, look at that. puts the armor right there, so if it's the kind of armor you have to charge, you don't have to, like, take the armor off, put it in your inventory, click on here. I like that change right there alone. Uh, but there's a lot of changes. They, uh, You can see here this is tip. i got to fix that. You can see here that this is actually tin cable, which is now the low currency, not the ultra low currency, whatever the hell. And copper is medium currency. So now gold is the high volt. And then uh, you've got the, I guess the glass fiber is like the ultra high volt. I don't know. I don't know what the highest volt is called now, but that's a ways away. I don't have to worry about it. And they've changed a few, like some of the appearance. Like now it makes crushed tin ore instead of the dust or whatever. You know, I haven't cooked all that stuff they have uh lead which is completely new and i'm not even 100 percent sure what to do with it yet but and that's a quick look at my inventory so far oh yeah i need these because i have to start planting them but yeah i mean it was, there's a lot of differences as far as like how you go about doing things uh like how you make cables and oh yeah i can show you some of the new tools like see i had to make the cutters and that's how you make cables i had to make a hammer a forge hammer to to actually you forge the metal into like sheets basically the hammer like flattens them out and the sheets are used for a lot of different things but they can also the cutters will then turn that into cable and then same as always you can insulate it but i like that it shows see it shows you the the amount of power that each thing carries and stuff like that that's pretty cool do i want to bother cutting stuff no, no i don't and you can see I've already started to get some pieces together. I got some mining pipe. I've got a, the basic machine casting, which is just the machine block. They just changed the name of it. Uh, there's no more refined iron, which I thought was interesting. So a lot of the recipes are different now because they no longer have the refined iron. Uh, 
Splash. Oh, hello, friend. Oh, two friends. Two friends. Why was he on my... Oh, probably from the sun. Two shotting. Oh, I got hungry, huh? So I cleared a lot. All of this was jungle and obviously covered in leaves and whatnot. So I cleared all of that out. Let's get my steak handy. There's an arrow in my face and in my hand. No, that's my gut. Ugh. I had to travel a great distance to find some rubber trees. I just There were just no rubber trees in the area. Just none. It was brutal. But I finally found some and came away with some saplings here. So hopefully I can get some growth. Click. Oh, I did just find a bone, actually. Hey! Pachow! Pachow! All right. Do I have... No, I don't. I didn't even bring a tablet with me because I wasn't planning on picking up a bone. Tell me that there's no thing on this entire... Tr oh, yeah, way on the top. Well, Lottie freaking da. Is that another one way up there? Wow, like way up there. I can't even reach it. This is like the worst rubber tree ever. That's the worst. So anyway, yeah, I do need to play single player from time to time. I'm not always available to get online and do whatever, or I might just run out of internet. And that's, that's a big issue. That's a huge issue actually with me right now is that I'm using my cell phone for internet. So it's very likely that I'll just, you know, I get into a position where I just run out of internet and don't have enough data left on the month to uh, do what I got to do. You know, internet on the cell phone is pretty expensive, and playing online games and whatnot uses it up pretty quickly. So I just, you know, I may not always be available to bring it, but I will try to as much as possible. I've got a lot of plans for multiplayer stuff, including the Civcraft, if we can ever get that done. That server has been a headache. Once it's set up, it you know, then we just got to maintain it. But setting it up has been a headache. The plugins for Civcraft are so freaking broken that it's really giving us a lot of difficulties. The people at Astral Game Servers have been working their butts off to uh, to get it set up, but it's just been one disaster after another. So hopefully that eventually gets fixed. So the last thing, I, I really need to make a quicker way to get up here, don't I? The last thing I'll mention before I go... Woo, is that uh, if you probably noticed, I got a new intro for the, the, the start of this video, and that's going to be my intro from now on. And that comes courtesy of my art department guy, Flash. He, uh, he hooked it up, did not ask him for that. He just threw it at me and was like, hey, if you like it, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. But I, I really digged on it, and I, uh, you know, I, I helped critique it, and we made some minor changes to it, and I'm really happy with the end result. So... And it matched, uh, he slightly, uh, he made some minor changes to the banner for the channel, and then that's what the intro is based on, so now they both match, so you can go check out the new banner as well. So, good job to Flash, and I had to give him the shout out for, uh, for setting that up so that you guys knew where the, the newness was coming from. But, so that's, that's it for today, like I said, I just wanted to intro you to the fact that I was doing this. But uh, a big thing that I do want to ask, though, is what you would like to see me get into with Industrial Craft. Uh, like I said, there's a million different changes. The wiki page, like the default wiki page, isn't always accurate. You also have to go to the FTB Industrial Craft Experimental wiki page to get some additional information for some of the changes that were made. Because not everything is listed on the normal Industrial Craft uh, wiki page. So, you know, whatever you'd like to see me try to get into or get involved with on here, and I will make every effort to uh, make an episode about that. And if it's your suggestion, then, of course, I'll give you a shout-out for suggesting that to me. So comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see with some industrial craft or whatever else, and I'll just keep plugging away and trying to make videos as often as possible. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time. Laters!